can you believe these are sugar-free, low carb, and taste like C's candy? So when I first started my weight loss journey, the one thing I missed the most were sweets. Guys, I've always had a huge sweet tooth. Love pastries, love chocolate, love ice cream. I used to be a huge, huge C's fan, which is where the inspo came for for this video. So what we're gonna start off with is roasting our nuts. I'm using raw nut, raw almonds, and again, I'm using almonds, but you can use pecans, walnuts, literally your favorite nut, you can use it for this recipe, even macadamia nuts. Macadamia, macadamia nuts would be so, so bomb. But um, I only found raw, so if you have roasted almonds, then obviously you could skip this step. But if you do have raw almonds, then you would follow along with me. So let's move over to the stove. We're gonna roast these just until nice and fragrant, and we'll move on. Just gonna toss in our almonds. And we're just gonna mix. You don't want them to burn. The only thing you want is for them to get nice and toasty and you'll know they're ready when you start to smell the almonds. So we're gonna have them over like a medium high heat for about two to three minutes. Oh, these look, these are pretty much done now. They ended up changing color. They got a really nice um, little, a little darker but usually you can tell they're ready and done just from the fragrance. You can actually smell the nuts. And now let's move on to our caramel sauce. So I'm just waiting for this to get a little warm. The first thing we're adding is our sweetener. Now, I use allulose for a lot of my recipes, but it's not necessary. Now for this one specifically though, for this recipe specifically, I would actually recommend using allulose because it's gonna give you the chewiness you really want, okay? So it's gonna give you the chewiness that you want in these, in these candies. Okay, so I ended up putting this more on a medium high heat just because we need the, the sweetener to actually start melting. And as you can tell here, it's just now starting to melt. You can see it just now starting. But what we want is for this to actually t turn like a light amber, like it's gonna, you'll see right now, it's gonna turn like a nice golden amber color. So it's starting to thicken, and as you can see, it's turning like a light amber color, but we are gonna let it get into like a deeper, rich amber color, just like this. This is just the perfect amber color. You can let it go a little bit deeper, but honestly, it's good here. We're gonna start throwing in the rest of our ingredients. So we're gonna throw in our butter, and it is gonna start sizzling, it's totally fine. Just gonna be the butter and the sweetener, you know, combining. And then right away, you wanna toss in your heavy cream and your vanilla extract. I've lowered the flame now because it was higher. Just, you know, I was trying to get the, the sweetener to just deepen in color, but now we're gonna lower it so that this can start to sizzle. We're gonna see it thicken up. And this is how you make a homemade caramel sauce. All right guys, so this turned out perfect. This is the color that we're looking for. Our homemade caramel sauce is all done. We're turning off the heat. Now, as it cools, it is gonna thicken, so I will show you that consistency, but this is what it's gonna look like immediately, like right, right, right when it's done. I wanna show you the texture so that when you're making this at home, you know what it's going to look like, okay? It's nice and thick, beautiful, rich color, and it smells like caramel. Now, before this cools, we are gonna throw in our almonds. Now, you can actually throw in your almonds just like I am here, or you can form little clusters. We have our baking sheet, and we're lining it with parchment paper. Now, what I'm gonna do here is just grab a spoon, and this is obviously just personal preference, like how big you want your turtles. So we're gonna, I'm doing about a tablespoon. So this is, you know, a pretty big spoon here but I feel like that's per like the perfect amount of nuts, the perfect amount of caramel. So before your caramel gets too sticky, try to form your little turtles. Obviously these are called turtles because it, it um, looks like a little turtle, so it should have like the little hump. Um, of course, if they end up flat, like they're gonna taste just as good, but if you want it like a traditional true turtle, then you want it to have like a little baby mountain like this. Okay, so I already finished the turtles. This is what I have left of the caramel sauce. Look at this beauty, oh my gosh. So this can be stored. You can use it to make lattes, to top desserts, or to make another batch. I'm actually gonna save it because I love my coffee. 
um, with caramel sauce. So you can do it with iced coffee, with hot coffee. It really, really changes like the flavor of the coffee, flavor and texture. But um, so now what we're gonna do is um, now that our little turtles look nice and beautiful, we're gonna put them in the fridge. They're gonna set for about 10, about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then we'll move on to the next step. So while our turtles are setting, we're gonna get started on our chocolate. So I'm using the dark chocolate by Chalk Zero. Um, these are no sugar added, they're dairy free. Um, I'll leave these linked in the description below for you. Um, I love them because I love the taste, texture, everything. And even if you're not living like a low carb lifestyle, they're great because you're not putting all that sugar into your body, you know? So what we're gonna do now is put these into the microwave. We're gonna put them in for about 10 to 15 seconds at a time, like 10 to 15 seconds increments, um, because you don't wanna burn it, okay? So high quality chocolate is expensive and the last thing you wanna do is ruin your chocolate. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show you what it should look like, like the texture, um, once we move on. Okay, so this is after 45 seconds and even though it doesn't look like it's melted, look at this. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put in a little arm work because it's melted enough and warm enough that the rest of the chocolate can actually melt the other little chocolates that, the, the other little chocolate chips that didn't melt. Okay, even though the texture and consistency is perfect, it is a little thick for us to be dipping the turtles in now, I'm not saying you can't do it like this. What I'm gonna do is just add a teeny tiny bit of coconut oil, just to, it's not gonna thin it out much, but it's gonna make it easier for us. So I'm just gonna do like a little teaspoon of coconut oil. And that's just gonna help thin it out a tiny bit. Okay, so I just got my turtles out of the freezer. So originally I put them into the fridge. I put them in there for about five minutes and I felt like it was just gonna take too long, so I threw them in the freezer, left them in there for about 15, 20 minutes, and um, now I feel like they're at a good texture where they're still very chewy, like the caramel sauce is very chewy, but I feel like we're gonna be able to work with it now. So now what we're gonna do is drizzle our chocolate, so our chocolate is still nice and melty, perfect texture, and what we're gonna do is literally just drizzle it Right, and I think instead of drizzle, we're kind of trying to coat the whole top of our turtles. And this is all personal preference. Like the more chocolate you like, the more chocolate you're gonna use. Cover it like so. Mm. Okay, so before we put them back into the freezer, I am gonna add some flaky salt. I love, again, I love the contrast. I think it really, really adds to it. It is completely optional, but if you haven't tried it, don't knock it till you try it. Okay, flaky salt's on. Now we're gonna let them set for about 10 minutes and we're going in for the bites. All right, guys. Woo, they turned out beautiful. So I did go ahead and add a little bit more chocolate. I should have shown you, but it was just like really like spur of the moment. I ended up dipping them on both sides. It's cause it's more chocolate. Like who doesn't like more chocolate? So I know you guys aren't mad about it, but if you're making it, you're gonna wanna probably do the same. Okay, don't these look just as good as the ones from C's? I think they're even better because they're bigger. <laughs> and bigger is better, guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and break one so that we can see the texture inside. Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am, look at that. And of course, I loaded the nuts because the crunch, guys, we gotta have the crunch. So we sacrifice one little guy. Might as well do the taste test with him. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's go. Holy moly. Wow. Wow. Guys, this is so amazing. Does not taste sugar-free at all. Does not taste healthy at all. Does not taste low carb. This tastes like 100% the real deal. If you love store-bought turtles, they do not even start to compare to this homemade version. I'm telling you, you are going to be obsessed. Come back and thank me because you're gonna love them. So in terms of the texture of the chocolate, so the outer shell, you know, it's like a, a, like a crisp chocolate. The inside is a chewy caramel that just kind of melts in your mouth. 
Of course you have the nuts. I ended up roasting mine. I feel like it just really adds to the textures of the candy. You have the outer shell that's a little hard. Then you have the caramel that's nice and chewy. The nuts are like really crisp and crunchy. So guys, all together, it just comes together really, really well. But the flavor, I'm telling you right now, the flavor is 100% amazing, better than store-bought better than anything I've tried, no joke, okay? You guys be the judge, go make them. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below. If you really like this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to share with friends and family. Share this recipe in the channel, especially if they're living a low carb lifestyle or maybe just wanting healthier options to like your favorite treats. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.